Okay, let's have a sesh on financial statements. There are three financial statements that you really need to know, and they are the income statement, the statement of financial position, and the cash flow statement. We start with the income statement. So the income statement is sometimes referred to as the profit and loss account, because at the end of the year, it will show you if you've made a profit or a loss. It's, to define it, it's a record of revenues and costs over a period of time. Note that, period of time, usually one year. Sole traders, private limited companies and public limited companies will all definitely use an income statement. What other information you might find out on the income statement? Well, you're going to find out your gross profit. And because you can find out your gross profit, you'll be able to find out your gross profit margin. That ratio is so likely to be questioned. Also, your net profit, sometimes referred to as your profit for the year. And like with gross profit, you can find your net profit margin. Know that one, so likely to come up. Statement of financial position is sometimes referred to as the balance sheet. And the balance sheet is a record of what the company owns, owes, and is owed at a point in time, a point in time. Not a period of time, a point in time. That's why sometimes you can refer to it as a photo, because you're taking a photo of what you own, you owe, and you're owed at that point in time. But then the next day, some of that might change, so that photo is out of date. With the statement of financial position, well, private limited companies and public limited companies will definitely do it. Sole traders rarely do statement of financial positions, because usually... In terms of their profits, they will draw that down as their wages and therefore there are no actual equity in the company. Also, you don't need to do it for legal reasons. Um, in terms of your statement of financial position, well, what it shows, it shows your assets, that can be your long-term or short-term, referred to as your non-current and current. Your liabilities, same, that can be your short-term and long-term, referred to as your non-current and current. Um, it will show your equity, being your retained profits, your historical profits, and your share capital. Also, you can find out your working capital on it, being the difference between your current assets and your current liabilities. Um, and finally, it will show you the net worth of the company, so you can see how much the net worth of the company is. The last one is the cash flow statement. The cash flow statement is a record of the cash flowing into and out of a business over a period of time, a period of time. Usually, that period of time is looking in the future. When it's looking in the future, it's referred to as the cash flow forecast because you're forecasting your cash flow. It's looking at a period of time, much like the income statement, but not like the statement of financial position. And sole traders, private limited companies, and public limited companies will use cash flow forecasts in order to help them inform their decisions in the future. They want to see their cash position. And that's exactly what it's going to tell you. It's going to tell you your short term, your short term cash position. It's going to tell you, therefore, how liquid you are, how much cash you, ca you have, so you can meet your, your short term obligations, your short term debts. So it's showing you your liquidity. And if your liquidity isn't great, maybe it will suggest to you that you need to take some source of finance, for example, an overdraft. Or if you're going to take on a big investment, you might want a larger source of finance. But you'll be able to see what that really means by looking at your cash flow statement. And the last thing to think about with your cash flow statement is that it's going to reflect changes in your income statement and your statement of financial position. And that will be reflected in your cash flow. Think about, for example, if you made a sale. A sale would be classed as revenue on the income statement. But maybe that sale, you're not paid for 30 days. So in that 30 day period, it's classed as a debtor and that will be on your statement of financial position. But when you realise that debtor and the debtor pays you up because they owed you, they paid you. And when they pay you, well, that's going to be a cash flow into your business and then it will be on your cash flow statement. So it will affect different financial statements at different times. Also, you could think, for example, a loan. If you took a loan out, let's say it's a long-term loan, well, then it'll be a non-current liability on your statement of financial position, but then you might have to pay interest on that loan, and that interest on the loan would be going out the business. That's cash going out the business, and that would be on the cash flow statement. So they're all kind of related, and I hope that helps, and I'll see you at the next sesh.